three phase induction motor here the, here is a three phase induction motor you can see this is an induction motor here we can connect the three phase induction motor in a two systems one is star connected system and other one is the delta connected system we will discuss these systems how we can connect a motor in a star system and in a delta system three phase induction motor star delta connection here you can see one is the red coil which is this one one is the green coil which is the this one and one is the other one is the blue coil which is this one when current passes through this is the line one this is the line two and line three these are the three phases when current passes when this con contactor becomes closed current passes through this to these coils and this is the other uh, connection this is the other contactor which will become closed then this is the star connection when this contactor is open this is closed and this is the closed then how this is the star connection we can see that this is the star connection its one side is common its one side is common three phases are connected are, sh are, are connected through a line through a wire in a short condition so this is the star this is the common point and it is connected through red line to the l1 this is connected to the red line through the l1 this is l1 and is connected to the green line through l2 it is connected through green line to the l2 and this is connected to the the third one third phase is connected with the l3 this th third phase which is connected with the l3 so red one is the connected with the the red one is the coil which is connected with line l1 phase phase 1 and the second one is the green line which is connected with the phase 2 or l2 and third one is connected with the blue line blue coil it's connected with the third phase so when this connection is this contact is closed and this connector con connect uh, connector is closed then this motor will run in the star connection here you can see the delta connection this is the star connection one side is the shorted and the other side is this is the l1 this is the l2 and this is the l3 and one side is the short this is the real world connection of a induction motor in a star connection and how we can connect this motor in a delta connection when we disconnect this contactor and connect this contactor this is open this is closed and this is also closed then red line is connected with the green line green coil and the green coil is connected with the blue coil and the blue coil is connected with the red coil or red line then this connection will become the delta connection here you can see l1 this is l1 l2 l3 l1 is connected with the red line to the green line this is the l1 connected with the red line to the green line through the green coil and the second one is the green coil is connected with the blue coil this is the green coil it is connected with the here you can see that it is connected with the blue coil and third one is the blue coil which is connected with the red coil so this is the blue coil this is the blue coil and its end is this is the blue coil and its other end is connected with the this red coil so this is the common point of l1 which is the common point of red and blue red and green this is the common point of the red and green this is the green this is the red and this is the common point so this is the connected with the l1 this is the l1 connected here we can connect the blue and the red common point with the l2 and the common point of the green and the blue with the l3 so this is l1 l2 l3 when this is connected in this way and this contactor is closed this contactor is closed and this contactor is open then this motor will run in the delta connection this is the delta connection red is connected with the blue uh, red is connected with the green and green is connected with the this is the green this is connected with the blue green is connected with the blue and blue is connected with the red and this is the line one this is the line two and this is the line three this is the delta connection you can further elaborate it components required for star delta connection for three phase motor induction motor first is the timer delay push button normal open push button normal close em relay overload protector magnetic contactor and auxiliary contacts these are the switches that we will use here there is a three phase 380 volt phase to phase star delta connection line diagram for a three phase induction motor we need to understand that first one is the normally closed overload relay you can see that this is the overload relay which is used for the protection of this motor because when the current flows over the limit or prescribed value of the current through this motor then this relay will be turned off protecting this motor from burning this will remain closed through the operation this is closed this is the line one this is the line two and this is the line three and here we can see that this 
this is the phase which is we connect through a line to the normally open switch and when we turn on this switch press this switch then this phase current will flow through this line and the other switch is already normally closed this, then this current will supply to this coil and this coil this is the contactor coil because it is connected through neutral here and this is the phase to phase voltage which is supplied to the this coil and this coil will be energized this contactor will be closed at the same time this contactor will also become energized when this is energized this is this is a relay 220 volt relay because it is 220 volt which is connected on one side and this is the neutral side of this coil so when it, 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 it is energized its contacts will be closed rl1 will be closed this is rl1 it will also be closed when this is closed is if it is a push button you can release it but the alternate path will be provided to the supply and supply will pass through this way to this coil and this coil so this will be remain energized this will remain energized and at the same time the current will flow through this line to this timer this timer will be timing its value to its to its uh, described value how much time 2 second 3 second 2 minutes 3 minutes how much time that we have defined for this timer it will take its time at the same time this normally close switch of the timer will remain closed and the current will pass through it to this coil this is the coil of contactor 2 so the contactor 2 will be energized and this switch will be closed this contactor 2 will be uh, the coil of this contactor 2 will be energized and this will be closed and this is the contactor 3 auxiliary normally, normally close contact this is used for the interlocks this is used as a interlock because when this coil is energized this coil will not be energized when this coil will be energized this will be not energized so when its time given time is completed then it will as we know that this coil is energized and this contact is closed this is also closed so the this motor will run in the star connection because the other side is common side so this is the star connection and we have discussed that this is the star connection one side it is turned on the other side is, is shorted on the one side and this contactor is also closed so this is the star connection here it is again a star connection all these switches are closed and the other side is shorted so this is the star connection when this relay this uh, contact is closed this contact is closed this relay is closed then this motor will run in the star connection it will be running in star connection till to the time delay of this timer when this timer completes its time delay it will break this contact normally close contact when it is energized it will break this contact this contact will be broken due to which this coil will be de-energized and this contact will be broken but at the same time at the same time when this contact is broken because it is normally closed this contact will be made this this contact will be closed because this is the con normally closed contact of this timer but this is the normally open contact of this timer so when it, it is energized this timer energized it will be broken broken and this will be closed so this star connection will be broken but at the same time the current will pass to through this normal open contact to this contactor 3 and it will be energized and this contact will be closed so this is broken this is broken and this is closed so now the other delta connection has become active because these two are already uh, closed and this has also become this has also become closed but this is opened so when this connection becomes closed this contactor becomes closed then the motor will run in the delta connection at the same time we have used two auxiliary normally closed contacts one is, is the con uh, contactor two normally closed auxiliary contact here and one is here which is the contactor three auxiliary auxiliary normally closed contact so when this relay is energized this will be broken when this relay is energized this will be broken so it is used for interlocks so that when a motor is running in the star connection its delta connection will be disabled and when a motor is running in the delta connection its star connection will be disabled so this is very important very important line diagram you need to learn it and you can also make its physical connections too thank you so much for watching this video